Today we're looking at the way we can do additions in a much easier fashion, uh, sub specifically subtracting, okay? And we're going to combine the two concepts in one by using something that we call the double sign rule. So instead of having subtracting an addition or adding a negative or something like that, um, we're just going to get rid of all the double signs as we see. And the double sign rules that you see on the right side here are actually the same rules that you're going to use later for multiplication. So two for one, if you learn these now, it'll help you later. So the idea is whenever you see a plus positive or a minus negative, it's going to turn into a plus. Okay. And if you see the two signs that don't match, like uh, adding a negative or subtracting a positive, then that's going to become a minus. That's going to be step one. And then we're going to treat everything as addition after we do this. According to the addition rules, which says if the signs match, we add and keep the signs. And if the signs are different, we subtract and take the sign of the bigger. Or you can use this other method that I think is a lot more effective to simply say we got good guys fighting bad guys. And the bigger group wins. And you just subtract the two numbers to figure out how much they win by. So let's take a couple of these examples that are set up here at the bottom of page eight. And yeah, this is really a negative two plus a positive five. But instead, we're just going to think of it as a negative two and a positive five, right, according to that double sign rule. And everything becomes addition. In question B, it's going to be the positive eight stays the same, but the minus negative is going to become a positive or a plus. And everything's addition. You're adding the eight and the three. They're both on the same side, so they combine together. In the previous question, they're on opposite sides, so they fought it out, and the good guys won. In question C, the 12 is positive, okay? So I don't have to have the, minus, uh, the plus or the minus on the 12, but just to show the rule for now, I'm going to rewrite it as positive 12 down here. And then the minus negative is going to become just a negative. And instead of looking at this as 12, positive 12 minus 7, we're thinking of it as positive 12 plus negative 7, but we don't write the plus. Everything becomes addition, and so it's now a matter of saying I'm adding 12 positive, 12 good guys, and 7 bad guys. Who wins? The good guys win. By how much? By positive 5. There are a few more sample questions that I'm just going to go through quickly. So main thing is when you have a double negative, it becomes plus. If you have a plus and a minus, or a minus and a plus, they're going to become negative. And now these three, th these three terms are all added. I've got a positive six, a positive two, and a negative five being added. And I know you're looking at that saying, wait a second, is that a minus sign in front of the five? Well, we're always considering that they're always negative, uh, so they're always positives. Let me repeat that. They're all additions. And so we're adding a positive six, a positive two, and a negative five. Now we put the two good guys together, and this is generally the way we're going to work it out. We're going to put all the good guys together, all the bad guys together, and then let them fight it out. Assemble the groups, and then battle. And so now the positive 8 and the negative 5 is going to give you a positive 3. Same deal here, okay? So I, I circle the, two, the double signs, and I get minus positive is going to become negative. And plus, positive or plus negative is going to become negative. Then we put it together. There's only six good guys, but there's two groups of bad guys that comes out to negative nine. And then they fight it out, giving you negative three. Minus negative becomes 10. Plus positive, uh, sorry, minus negative becomes plus and plus positive becomes plus. And so this is three groups of good guys, all combining forces to give me positive 33. Now, when we do this, it's now important to understand that the sign on the left of the number belongs to that number. So in question one, this is now page nine. In question one here, we have negative five and negative, negative 15 and negative five. They're both negatives. And so they're going to combine forces to become a bigger negative group. So try and follow along, anticipate what I'm going to do in this next question. Positive 18, nothing's going to change. The minus negative, okay, and I go to the rule on the side here that says the minus negative is going to turn into a plus. 
So I have a positive 18 and a positive 9 that are added, and it's going to give me 27, and it's going to be positive. The next question is a negative 15, and it's plus negative, okay? They're going to combine together. Plus negative is going to give me a negative. Now, hopefully this is irritating you at one point now. You're saying, wait a second, is that negative 15 minus 6, or is that negative 15 and negative 6? Everything is addition. It's a negative 15 and a negative 6 being added, and that's going to give you two groups of bad guys. It's going to give you 21 bad guys, 21 negative. And for the next question, it's an 8 that's positive. The minus negative is going to become a negative 17. We're adding the positive 8 and the negative 17, and that's going to give you positive 8. What am I talking about? I can go with the answer right now. Okay. 8 good guys, 17 bad guys. The bad guys win by 9. I'm hoping this makes a little bit of sense to you. Remember, the old way of doing this would still work, right? You would just rewrite that as positive 8 plus negative 17. And all I'm saying is, we're not going to bother to write this plus sign anymore. That plus sign is not necessary. It's just going to be negative eight and negative, uh, positive 8 and negative 17 added. So jumping down to one of these big groups, okay? It's kind of weird, but this is where the questions become, they look a little bit scary, but actually they're um, going to be a lot easier to do when we use this double sign rule. So I'm going to take a look at question P. Everything is going to be turned into a single sign. So the 12, okay, it's going to have a plus on it. The minus 4, well, there is no second sign there, so it's just going to stay negative 4. But the plus negative 5 is going to become a negative 5. The 9 is just going to be a negative 9. And the plus minus on the 17 is going to become a negative 17. So all of these negative guys are going to join forces against that positive 12 that's all by himself his group. And so adding it up, negative 4 plus negative 5 is 9, and then our 9 is 18, and then 17 makes 35, but these are all the groups of bad guys, so it's negative 35. And we're adding the positive 12 and the negative 35 to give us, they battle it out, 23 bad guys as the answer. I'm going to stop right here. You're going to try these a little bit, and hopefully this is making enough sense to you that you can finish the work that you need to get done.